What are spectrally selective or high infrared blocking window films? I'm covering that topic today on Two Minutes on Film. Letting all the light in or as much light as possible through the window is the desired effect. We want a lot of natural daylight. We do not want a window film that's gonna darken the room. Spectrally selective window films are designed for that purpose. We want maximum heat rejection while allowing most of the light through. And so let's take, for example, you want to protect your home or your business from fading of carpets, flooring, artwork, upholstery, or merchandise if you're in a, in a retail store. And the majority of that damage is going to come from the UV light and also the heat. Spectrally selective window films block out 99% of the UV and 97% in most cases of the infrared heat. That doesn't mean it's blocking out 97% of all heat because some heat does travel in the visible light spectrum. Now, I know I'm getting a little bit technical here, but I don't want to overstate what the films will do. But in essence, a spectrally selective window film gives you the highest performance and the highest amount of visible light transmittance. That means it allows a lot of light in, but it blocks a lot of heat in UV. Now, price wise, a spectrally selective film is going to cost quite a bit more than a metalized film or a dual reflective or DR film. You know, there's a film out there for everyone. You just have to choose which one's right for you. If you want a spectrally selective film and you're willing to pay a little bit more to have the optimum performance of the least amount of change to the way that the glass looks, this is the film for you. So there you have it. Spectrally selective films are perfect when you want high performance, but minimal change to the appearance of the glass. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brad with Campbell Window Film, and this has been Two Minutes on Film. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and of course, comments are welcome. See you next time.